In order to set up a Fastos mailbox on a device, you'll need specific details such as the mail server settings, username, and password, and all of these are available in the Fastos control panel. So let me show you how to find those. First things first, log into your Fastos control panel. Then once you're on the dashboard, on the left-hand side of your screen, go to web hosting. Once that loads, you'll then see a list of all of the web hosting packages in your account. Next, you need to find the domain name that these emails are on, and then click on the email tab to the right. So in my case, I'm gonna look at the fhtechtips.co.uk domain name, and I'm gonna click on the email button here. This then loads up the mailbox overview for this domain name, and I can see here that there is a list of mailboxes currently assigned to this package. To see or amend the connection details needed for each mailbox, you can simply click on the mailbox. If you needed your mailbox details because you needed to change your password, you can do that here where it says mailbox password, and you can click the change button to change the password for that mailbox. And that's the same for all of our mailboxes. So in the case of tom at fhtaptips.co.uk, you can see that this is a mail extra mailbox, which requires a pop slash IMAP connection to use. Now that you know that this is a pop slash IMAP mailbox, you now know that you need to use the standard pop slash IMAP mailbox connection details in order to connect this mailbox up. Likewise, if you were to see Exchange 2013 or Exchange 2019 in the connection type field here, then those connection details would be different again. I'll now show the connection details for each mailbox type up on screen. And so all you'll need to do on your end is find the mailbox, check which connection type it is, and then use this list to find the right information and use that to connect your mailbox up. Finally, if you need to set up auto discover via DNS in order to get your exchange mailboxes working, then you'll need to refer to our separate guide on auto discover records for exchange mailboxes, which I will link. That being said, I hope this guide has helped and bye for now.